Here are some interesting product designs for us to look at. You remember Rabbit, right? The company that made waves at CES with their R1 AI pocket companion. What if they made a smartwatch version of this pocket friendly device? Someone made a render of that and I admit it looks pretty damn cool. It almost looks like the official thing, right? Like the whole concept is carried over to a wrist friendly design. It has that same push to talk button on the side along with a speaker I believe and even a recessed camera that might rise up when you need it. Of course, it's just a concept, it's not a real thing, but I don't think any company has tried to make that, right? A rising camera on a wristwatch? Man, that would be great to see. I'm not much of a smartwatch guy, but if it comes out, I might consider it over the actual handheld version of this. Shout out to Alisher for this design. I'll leave all of their profiles in the description. Please check out their work. Next up, what if nothing made a portable music player? I mean, this one kind of reminds me of the iPod shuffle. You know, this thing, a music player without a screen. This one was so easy easy to copy like I remember in my high school this was so popular everyone had a version they were all knockoffs and they would say look this is my iPod that's your iPod they didn't realize that it's a knockoff of Apple's music player design but this is a pretty thoughtfully curated design you know it has that same a glyph interface I imagine that glyph would change based on the music being played I guess there seems to be some kind of a mute switch design as well does it also have a speaker grill <laughs> I don't know if we'll need a speaker on this thing most of the audio should be done through a headphone jack output but i can see nothing trying to make something like that i mean they have products that they have never released for example the power one charging station they had made a video themselves a couple of months ago you may have seen it the power one was a travel friendly charging solution which they could not release i don't know wireless charging seems more complicated than we think even apple failed at that right their air power failed they showcased it briefly but it didn't even launch i think they planned it right before the year one would come out it would have been nice to see but Oh well. Next, what if Teenage Engineering made a truly wireless earphone? Teenage Engineering is the same company that made the Nothing Ear 1, they made the Rabbit R1. So they are an iconic design brand. And uh, yeah, I mean, I can see this design being made by them. In fact, it reminds me of one of those uh, those mechas from, uh, what is it, Star Wars? I think it's called AT-80 or something. I don't know, I haven't seen Star Wars. I have a life. Stop the cow. <laughs> But I've seen wallpapers and things, so this design reminds me of that. And yes, I can absolutely see Teenage Engineering making something like this. And speaking of earphones, a studio from Japan called Nendo had worked with Oppo a few years ago to make a pretty interesting TWS concept. They called it Music Link. It's just two truly wireless earphones that can connect to one another and close a loop like that. And they can be arranged in a variety of setups like with the neck strap or on the outsides of a smartwatch. There is a version from Huawei with the earbuds built in right it's not as elegant as this because it's easy to make something on design engineering it is a whole different headache like they've shown it being connected to a speaker dynamically but how does it actually work like that charging may be fine but how would you pass through the audio immediately ambitious designers like these are engineers worst nightmare they had even made a sliding phone concept for oppo which is called simply the slide phone it's a super tiny device which has five folding segments which can reveal a little bit at a time and depending on how much of the screen is revealed it can have various functions which they have proposed here why would you need a phone that has so many complicated folding hinges i don't know designers just make stuff they don't really think about the practicality it's just to showcase something cool which they had in their mind apparently it even has a stylus built in i'm not sure how they would make it work with all these hardware the battery life would probably last what an hour but this idea is kind of nice depending on which layout you have the buttons would change their functionality and the charging dock is kind of interesting i guess Yes, but there's no way they would mass produce this. It'll be way too complicated and difficult to maintain. But you should check out Nendo Studios regardless. You know, they make a lot of cool stuff with popular brands. Anyway, if any of these products actually came to market, would you buy any of them? In my case, I'll probably consider the Rabbit R1 smartwatch. I imagine it's the most logical thing to consider because at least theoretically, you will have the same AI companion on your wrist. So you don't even have to carry something in your pocket. 